What's going on guys, Linus here. Welcome back to uh, Total War Saga, Thrones of Britannia. We are trying to take some more land. It's the, it's the same every time. I don't even know why I do recaps. I don't remember when I started doing them. I just know that does it really matter? Does anything really matter? Is the Earth really round? I'm not so sure anymore. Uh, anyway, let's just go take some more stuff and stop rebellions and, and fun things like that. Northled no longer exists, okay. Northwick is being besieged. It's probably pretty bad. Uh, we do have an army that is on the way to deal with that little situation. I'm not sure it's gonna be, you know, enough. That's the, that's the real question right now. Um, our general, let's make him a better champion. Then we got a governor who is super loyal, so let's just give him that scribe that he's always wanted. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with that for sure, though, because that's gonna be a pretty big issue. Um, so we took Kerncaster in the previous video because that was sort of up for grabs, and I figured, you know what? I like a piece of that, so... Right, we do want to stop this right now. I think we're besieging this or something. Like, we can actually fight now, but... Do we actually want to do that? I feel like we're gonna win that anyway. We have more- we have so many more men. Let's just do it. Let's do it defensively, I guess. It's gonna be absolutely fine. Like, we should be able to win this super easily. I'm just trying to find a nice balance between battles that I feel like are actually worth fighting, and then the battles that are... If I were to fight them, they'd be super boring, so there we go. Um, okay, so we are looking at Warring Quickham. Warring Quickham, okay. Uh, we're just taking my rebels. All we really need is stock. If we get stock, that's the short victory, which is really all we're looking for. And West Saxa could get a governor. Born commander. It's not bad. Axeman. Looks like we don't really have a, um... A governor that would have traits that are good. I love the born commander thing, though. These are, like, similar. I guess I'll, I'll give this guy the office. Just to have a governor there. And then... I feel like I'm holding a lot of estates, so we should probably hand a few of them out. Wait, is this me? Uh, okay, you know what? Yes, I am holding a lot of... Estates. I want to give that to this guy. Elfwald. Let's make sure that loyalty is nice and high. Then we got... let's see... Man, loyalty is really high. Oswiu. Great name, by the way, man. Really, really well done for you. We're gonna give you that. So you're nice and loyal. I guess everybody's just pretty loyal now, right? Yeah, people are just pretty loyal. So I guess I'm just good. There is a little bit of low public order here because we just took that, but that's gonna go down. Um, question is what this army is gonna do. So we could go to Brightport and stop these rebels here, but... Doesn't really seem all that necessary. Who are these guys? Wicca. They are... they have no friends. You know, I hate saying it, but they actually don't have any friends. Listen, man, I want to make you my vassal. It's that or I'm going to declare war on you. You have no allies, so... Don't think that's going to go well for you. They got like one army, apparently. Oh, we can reach that this turn. You know what? We don't need these guys. Speak we, we are at war now. I will listen. You want war? You want war? Yes, I do. Well, not really war. I'm mostly after your cities. Alright, so let's build some stuff. And continue that siege. We We're just gonna take their land. It's apparently up for grabs, and it looks like, um... Gwinnett is trying to take some of it. So, we're gonna swoop in. We're gonna at least take Glocaster, which appears to be pretty large. Ephesham looks way smaller, but if we could take all these three, that would be a very nice addition to our existing land. This is the real question, though. Like, are we going to attack this army right now? The Swine Array. 
I've seen that name before. That's what my old army is called. Wow, I thought it was supposed to be like super random, but we already found an army with the exact same name. We're going to go to Elmham right now. And we're, we'll grab some supplies and um, heal up a little bit. And then in a sec, we are going to go uh, to war. Well, not we're already at war. We're going to try to take that city back or at least stop them from taking it. Uh, Money-wise. Ski... Sk skier burning. It's probably something shire something. Uh, more pottery. I kind of like just making Kippenham into like a great... Amazingly garrisoned place. Let's get the uh, pottery kiln. From out of the kiln comes the decorative as well as the practical depending on your budget. Let's get that budget nice and high then. Because I want to make all kinds of nice pottery stuff. Ashtrays. Ash receptacles. Uh, cigarette holders. Bongs. I don't think there's anything else that you need pottery for, so... That's basically it. Alright, so these guys are desperate now and they want to fight. Which is understandable. I mean, we're just gonna have to take them on and do as much damage as we possibly can, right? I mean, there's absolutely no way we're winning this. This will be one of those nice battles that we actually lose, which are rare. But, yeah, I don't think there's any way we're, we're gonna come out of this and, and win. But, if we do a lot of damage, then the army that is gonna be around later... ...is gonna have a slightly easier time uh, dealing with this army. Yeah, even our generals, like... Oh, this is a garrison army. Penda, that's our governor. He's not great at commanding. He's not really great at anything, but he sure is loyal. And that's the only thing that I value in a uh, subject, is loyalty, and, and literally nothing else. They don't have to be good at their job. They don't have to... ...do well. Just, just be loyal to me, man. Alright, so we can get some barricades. Hmm, maybe there? Like, they're gonna attack straight over here, so... Gonna get barricade there, probably a good idea, and then maybe... What over there? Like, what's that really gonna do? Not much. Really? Not very much. Alright, so we want to set up, like, over there. Our skirmishers go in the back. Yeah, I don't think we, there's, like, any chance of us winning this, but, you know... We should go for it, for sure. Let's see where these guys go. Viking Raiders. Do they look scary? Not really. They all look the same. All right. Get him, skirmishers. Get him, watchtowers. We've killed zero of them. One. One of them died. Don't know where, but... Two of them died. Three of them died. Let's go, boys. Fire away. So, they have two towers, so we want to definitely set up to to deal with those. Let's get our strongest guys to deal with that. Yeah, we killed a, a grand total of five of them. Which is not really enough. So these guys are just really not going to fire unless I give them the order. Oh, here we go. Go, boys. Yeah. Throw those things. Oh, they're firing back. Okay, well, that's going to be bad. Get those shields up for now. I mean, we're doing absolutely no damage to these things. Like, just the more units we take out, the better it's going to be. If you look at all, all that they have, I mean, there's no way we're going to win. They have more than twice my numbers, which is obviously bad for me. Uh, let's get like a nice healthy Spearman Regiment to, to stand over here. Block that gate, man. Let's get you back a bit. Let's get you back a bit. Again, we're just going to do whatever damage we possibly can. Take them on, boys. I have I have high hopes for you. The battle's no longer in our favor. Uh, it never was. 
Alright, I hope you know that. Like, we might be able to beat a garrison, or not a garrison, a regiment or two, but that's pretty much all we can really do. Gate is open. Are we even winning this? Losing decisively. Alright, so at least we're winning there. Get those shields up. And just be uh, very, very defensive. I mean, we should be winning here for sure as well. Well, it looks like we got someone. Where are you guys going? What are you doing? Let's do that. Oh boy, we're gonna need some reinforcements there. You know what? We're probably gonna need some reinforcements here. We're basically gonna stand our ground best that we can. Where are these guys going? Seriously, what is this? They're just running? Go! I mean, so far... You know, we're putting up a decent fight. We're doing our best, which is commendable. We killed, we killed a good amount of them already. I'm already proud of my boys. My guy can't even, like, raise morale or anything like that. Uh-oh. My, uh, my dudes there are tiring out. Which is not very good. Go. What, why are you, like, forming a line? What is this shit? What are, what are my guys doing? I don't like any of this. You know what? We're driving a lot of them away, I gotta say. That's honestly really impressive. Go around. Go help out your, uh, your leader. Alright, because he's gonna need it. Numbers-wise, we're starting- we're, we're doing a lot of damage, and they're doing not that much. I, I think we've- we've done a pretty good job so far. Let's go do damage wherever you can, okay? Like, mo most of the enemies near the front area are, have been, uh been stopped so far. The skirmishers are absolutely not doing what I want them to do, which is annoying. Probably because skirmish mode is active, but... And they're out of ammo, so... You know what? I say sacrifice yourself. Your garrison unit, I absolutely do not care for your life, so literally just do what I tell you to do, or I will, you know, have you killed. We're doing a lot of damage. Somehow, we're still standing strong. I'm sure, we're losing a bunch, but they lost way more. If we somehow make it out of this alive, I'm gonna be so happy. Right, so the Javelin men are obviously not very helpful. Okay, the towers are gone. That just gives us more space to fight in. So now, like, we're sort of in, in like a stalemate where we're we're all grouped up and stuff, which is annoying. And I really don't want to pull one of these regiments back. Th there's a chance that that might cause everything to collapse. Some of them are fleeing, though, apparently. Let's go, my king. Mess them up. We're not killing quite as many as we used to. That's because they're through now, which is really bad. And their archers are f just free to fire indiscriminately, and they have a lot of them, so that's pretty bad. But we've done a lot of damage. In fact, we've done more damage than I thought I'd be able to do, so that's pretty good. These guys are losing. These guys are even in even combat. Oh, we took one of them out. Let's pull these javelin men back. I feel like they're mostly in the way. You know, I don't mean to be rude. But they seem to not be doing very much. Let's go, guys. They're trying to flank my guys, but I'm gonna I'm gonna re-flank them. Alright, so they're shattered, they're not gonna be fighting. If we won if we win one of these battles, then I think we might actually have a shot at winning this, though. But that's gonna be the the, the real question is can we pull that off or not? Alright, Javelin Man, maybe go around over here. 
I still see some space. Okay, we got some more of them running. Some free men. Man, we got a lot of them, though. As soon as their archers run out of ammo, that's when we're going to be in a pretty good position. And they're, they're low. They are very low on ammo. And that's like their main way to beat me. Was to have way more archers. That's right, you run, suckers. You run from here. No one even respects you. Why are these guys still here? Did I tell you to go there? You know what? It's actually going really well. What is happening with my life? We're starting to lose a lot now, though. But the sooner they're out of arrows, the better it'll be. If we if we clear this out, then we're going to be in a really good position. Get on them. Don't let them flank your friends. Other javelin men. Go help out the other javelin men. Those guys are running. Good. It's still so close, though. Like, it's really going to depend on what's going to happen in the next little bit. Behind you. Wait, what? Oh, these guys. Okay, yep. I'm still following. It's cool. Man, we took out so many of them. But I think what we need to do is uh, have one of these guys go there. And then these javelin men go there. We will just be using the javelin men as like... Cannon fodder. So some of them are running. Honestly, it's close. We haven't even lost 300 men. Oh, these guys are running now. That's bad. We need the javelins to, uh, to help out here. So many of them are, like, wavering now. Oh, they lost a whole bunch just now. Probably one of them shattered. Oh, these guys. Okay, good. So get them now. The, I'm sure those, those spearmen will return in a bit. We got two people that are currently not super happy, and they're trying to run, but they'll they'll be back. It's gonna be just fine. There's only 39 of them left. They are winning slightly, though, because Javelin Men, as it turns out, are pretty much useless. I was hoping the Thanes would be able to do this, but they're shaken, they're exhausted, they've been fighting all day. We've killed so many of them. How do they still have arrows? Ammunition one. But oh, the others ran out, which is really good. Alright, that's really good. Okay, why isn't this over yet? Why are the, Where aren't these guys dead? The Thanes are actually losing slightly. And I'm really hesitant to pull anyone out of this fight, but if we manage to kill these guys, then it's gonna be... A battle at the front gate, which at that point, you know, I think we can win. So you go help out your friends. Oh my god, the numbers are almost equal. We've killed so many more. We've lost barely 300 and they lost like 1100. That's actually really good. Is this, we're gonna need a little bit of help, like, oh, these guys are running now. Great. Go over there. I feel like we should probably give the, uh, the Royal Companions a bit of time to regroup or something, or, like... Can you just, like, can you, can you go for that? Just leave the Javelin here as a, uh, buffer. Holy shit, we're actually starting to win now. Really, really, really very slowly, but we're starting to win. Numbers are almost gonna be equal now. How is this happening? Oh my god, normal difficulty is so easy. It really, like, I shouldn't have had a single chance to win this at all. Okay, we got him. These guys are, are broken. Not quite shattered, but broken. And I think we're capturing the gate. Keep fighting, boys. We're about to win. It says they're rallied, but they really haven't rallied. Just take the damn gate. Look at that. Look at that. We, we've driven them off. Ready for war. 
These guys are now fresh. Funky fresh. All right, let's go over there. Thanes, go mess these guys up. Javelins, just just capture the uh, the thing. We're about to capture it, which is, I think, good. We're actually gonna win. We're actually gonna win. Oh my god! You know what? This long battle, and it's basically for nothing. But you you gotta, I gotta say, it's so worth it. So many of them are, are running, and they're like they're just losing decisively everywhere. Some hunters are returning, but they have no ammo, so they're literally going to be completely useless. Oh, we still have guys back here? Oh, these guys. Spearmen, I knew you'd return. Let's get you back. Well, we win the battle. Look at that. It's basically over at this point. Their troop count is extremely low. They just keep getting broken. Let's get the leader in that area so that morale will stay nice and high. How did we win this, though? I mean, it took almost 15 minutes, but holy shit, what a battle. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't think we can lose this anymore. We have so many left. Yep, they're all, they're all broken. We actually won. We actually won the battle. We lost about half of our troops, but holy shit, though. That was good. Let's see if we can maybe do some damage to, like, their leader. Because that should probably really mess things up a bit for him. But yeah, that was a good battle. Wow. So nice. I actually enjoy these battles where we're at a disadvantage because it's an actual challenge to, uh... Or at least it's more of a challenge to try and win those. But I think it, it should have been a little bit, you know, it was a little too easy. Just kill their leader, okay? Just kill him. I think we got most of them. There's what, like one guy running away? Ah, whatever. Pyrrhic victory. Definitely, definitely do not agree with a Pyrrhic victory here. This was a heroic victory, okay? I'm not gonna let anybody else... I'm not gonna let anyone tell me otherwise. This was a huge battle. That was so good. Alright, let's see. What remains of their little army? It's not a lot. It's not a lot. We didn't even need our actual big army. Holy shit. Well, we might as well take the money out of this, so... Oh, look at that. The rebels are showing up. Dubgill's destroyed. Galmi's deceased. Uh, we do have some low public order here and there. Oh, we already took, I guess, one of their, like, one piece of what what, what was theirs. Um, Doorcaster. Let's repair that. It's extremely cheap, so obviously I'm going to do it. We're going to take Oxenford as well. Sorry, though, that's mine. Maybe I should have killed that army, but it's just one guy. Like, what's one guy going to do realistically? I'm not so sure. Penda fought a, just a heroic battle. This guy is literally the best. In my eyes, he's, a, he's definitely a champion. Um, we're gonna fix that right up. Holy shit, like, we really, really wrecked these guys. Let's destroy Hayden. I don't want to see these Vikings anywhere ever again. Um, you know what? They should be pretty safe auto-resolve. Let's just be aggressive. Honestly, I, I, I don't think there's any way they could possibly win that, but then again... I shouldn't have won that previous battle, so who knows? Alright, killed him. Four kill. So we want to stop these guys now. I don't know where they're going. They might be going for Northwick. I'm not sure they should, but they could do that, sure. Let's make that building. I officially love Northwick now. I think we just killed Hayden. I don't think they exist anymore, which is good. Uh, Renless Ham. Let's do that. Gotta spend money to make money. Alright, so you did your thing. It's pretty much all we have, right? Yeah, this guy. So we're gonna take Glock Caster, or whatever that is. Um, they don't have a lot. I am considering making, like, two more Siege Towers, though. So we'll postpone the Siege by one turn. 
Yep, that's pretty much all we need to do. Public order is starting to finally stabilize a bit, so we're going to take uh, Glockaster and we're going to take Ephesam in the next video as well. And then we'll probably move on to Waring Quickum. Waring Quick Waring Quickum. Take that. And then eventually we do want to declare war on Jerby and take some stuff, but I think we should focus a little bit more on like the Wills side of things. Which is here, right? I think it's here. This is Wills, right? I don't actually know how big Wills is. I'm, I'm very sorry. If you're watching this, I'm really sorry that you're watching this. Um, right, a lot of fame. Great. Alright, so um, I'm actually going to leave it here for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. And in the next part, we're going to quell a little bit of a rebellion here and there. Uh, we're starting to stabilize, which I'm really happy about. Which there should be an easy way to see that. There we go. It's like mostly stable. We still got some instability here, but we're going to take care of that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll talk to you soon.